Hotspur book for boys, 1977. Long after I was uh, young enough to be reading it. So, why the interest? It's uh, got a bit of damage there, as you can see. Well, it's got a robot, Iron Teacher. Jolly good aeroplane drawings. Interest features when samurai held sway. Nicely illustrated. Dinosaur type monsters. Cowardy Custer and other comic strips. Page here about Ernest Rutherford. The man who split the atom. Hmm. There's Nick Jolly, a highwayman with a robot horse. Nice idea. A rocket powered flying robot horse. Good fun. And the Iron Teacher I mentioned previously, but this is the reason I bought this book in a local junk shop. William Fries Green was one of the great pioneers of photography. In 1877, age 22, he owned successful portrait studios in Bath and Plymouth as well as his native Bristol. John Rudd showed him his biophantic lantern, which projected a quick succession of coloured drawings, making a clown appear to turn a somersault. Freeze Green realised that the same idea could be applied to photography. Improving on Rudd's lantern design, Freeze Green projected a series of photographs showing his own face change from a frown to a smile. An old lady attacked the screen with her umbrella. Couldn't trust old ladies in those days. Freeze Green moved to London. To publicise his inventions, he projected a moving picture of a dancing skeleton on a screen across his studio window. A huge crowd formed, and the police asked him to stop. In January 1889, he shot his first film with his first cine camera, the famous Magic Box. Instead of the usual cumbersome glass plates, it used a new type of celluloid film produced by Freeze Green himself. Amazing. He worked into the night to develop and print the film. A surprised policeman dragged into the studio by the excited movie maker became the world's first motion picture audience. Here we are. Famous Hyde Park sequence. And of course in the film The Magic Box, the part of the policeman was played famously by Sir Lawrence Olivier. And here's a strip of the film. At least they've um, got the perforations right. They didn't synchronise with the frame lines. Now here's a good panel. In 1904, The Great Train Robbery, a 12-minute Western film, was the talk of London. One sequence when a railway engine appeared to be charging straight out of the screen usually caused panic in the audience, Freeze Green having sold the patent of his invention to pay for further experiments, died penniless in 1921. Here we are. And it's in the Hotspur. So it must be true. Now, yeah, need to do something with that damaged spine. That's a bit better. That can go away now on the bookshelf.